She said it's a freak off session. If she says a freak off session, brother, she ain't the only one freaking off. The prostitute ain't the only one freaking off. Old boy is freaking off also. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Diddy did what? Joe, I'm going to need y'all to sit down for this one because things just got 10 times messier for Diddy after he was just exposed for giving Usher STDs while he was still a teenager. And some sources also claim that Justin Bieber was also a victim of this. And that's why he stopped hanging out with Diddy. I mean, we've all heard about the freaky parties that Diddy throws in his house and him allegedly allegedly getting his back blown out by other men, but I ain't think he was actually getting teenagers involved in these freaky activities. And she was searching for the big black, not only for herself, but for somebody else who we all know that was in the room with her. So if he want to see it and he want her to su touch it, he might, that other person in the room with her just might want to feel it. Now, allegations about Diddy being DL are just tiring at this point, and we are all past that. But Cassie's recent lawsuit just blew everything out of the water and just exposed how messed up these little DL encounters actually were. Cassie accused him of forcing her to indulge in encounters with other men, which he usually called freak offs. Cassie revealed in her lawsuit that the first time Diddy initiated these freak Offs, he hired a man and brought the man to his home in Los Angeles. The man, she and Diddy, wore masks and they ingested drugs. Diddy then directed Cassie to perform acts with this man while he watched them. But it only got worse from there because according to Cassie, Diddy instructed her to use websites and escort services to find male workers to participate in these FOs and told her to search for large black you know what on that website. Now, this is where things get very interesting because Diddy would specifically demand for baby oil and Astroglide during these freak offs. And in during my research, I found that Astroglide is actually a lubricant that is usually used by men during intimate time. And I mean, it is used by straight men too, but it looks like gay men tend to use it more specifically looking out Astroglide. Glide. A lot of people believe he was specifically demanding for it because he was also getting intimate with the men. And Gene Deal, his ex-bodyguard, also recently gave an interview and said the same thing. Do you think this man had this woman search for prostitutes online just for them to have with her? It's something fishy about that, bro. Because you got to realize this lawsuit and the information they had and they gave the Diddy people was six months ago. So some of that stuff was cut out. Okay, we're going we're gonna to give you this, but you got to cut this part out. Anything in that lawsuit, you got to realize that we only got a portion of it because... It's been chopped up. Things has been taken out. So somebody would look a certain way. This explains why he would force Cassie to specifically look for male hookers. Then BBC's was not just there for Cassie. Honey, he wanted some of them too. He had a thing for black men and was just using Cassie as the cover up. Chell, we all knew Diddy was in the closet for a long time, but the fact that he would use Cassie as a gateway to get intimate with men is very disturbing to think about. What's even more concerning is that it's alleged that he used to mess with a lot of underage boys and allegedly Diddy tried to both Usher and Justin Bieber. See, when Usher was just 14 years old, he was handed over to Diddy by L.A. Reid to mentor him. Because at the time, Diddy had something going on called Flavor Camp, where he mentored a bunch of young artists into becoming superstars. So at the tender age of 14, Usher moved all the way to New York to live with Diddy. Yeah, he lived at the same house that Diddy was having all these freak-off parties at. Now, Usher later admitted 
admitted himself that he was made to see and engage in some pretty wild stuff that he had no business being involved in when he was that age. To New York City. And I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. <laughs> to learn Flavor some... Camp. Yeah, Flavor Camp? Yeah, that's camp. what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's In pre- the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, nah, not really. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was... And it was <laughs> but I don't know if I could indulge and understand... What what I was even looking at. It was it was pretty wild. It was, so nobody it was tried to Jody your parents C, were Mary okay? J. Blosh. They didn't know nothing about this. Shit. Oh. <laughs> I was having a good time. You know what I mean? Does he have you doing any chores? Are you doing dishes at all? I mean to keep you humble somewhat? Or are you just like, can you stay up till four in the morning with them and party? I mean I could. I yeah. actually stayed up longer than them. And when asked if he would ever allow any of his kids to go to Diddy's flavor camp, he said no. Dad now, would you ever send your kid to Puffy Camp? <laughs> you Hell know? no. <laughs> Y'all, as if this wasn't bad enough, there was also a video where Diddy almost slipped up and exposed himself about the times where he and 14-year-old Usher would sleep together. But he very quickly caught himself and backtracked. My brother right here from day one, we used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, just out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the over the Frosted Flakes. And then there was a time when Usher hinted at him and Diddy being more than just friends during his 2005 cover story for Essence magazine. According to the article, Usher was super chill during the whole interview until he was asked about the things that happened while he stayed at Diddy's house. He said, I want to save some shit for my book one day. I'll put it this way. There was a lot of sex now i don't know if usher was heard but it rarely ever goes well for people who attempt to write books about diddy erica kennedy wrote a book about diddy and she was found dead in her home just a few months later kim porter was also writing a book about him when she was found dead too and while we're on that topic of kim porter's book an email from one of the publishers who was helping her write the book got leaked online according to the publisher kim's book went into to detail about how Diddy used to force Usher into getting intimate with him and even infecting him with an STD. The email read, some of the things in the book cover Diddy's gay relationships, footage of these encounters, the men he slept with, STDs, Diddy giving Usher an STD, and the explosive encounter between Diddy and Usher's mom. In fact, back in 2017, Usher was sued by a woman who claimed he infected her with herpes. According According to her, Usher exposed her to herpes during their encounters and that he didn't tell her he had been diagnosed with herpes in 2009. She claims she tested positive after experiencing symptoms and reading online reports of Usher's alleged diagnosis. And a lot of people believe that Usher probably got his herpes from his affair with Diddy. But Usher ain't the only minor that Diddy has been accused of grooming. Y'all, it's been alleged for some years now that Justin Bieber was also a victim of Diddy. Cause just like Usher, Justin was 15 when he started hanging out with 40 year old Diddy. Diddy was even out here promising Justin a Ferrari when he turned 16 and a whole mansion when he turned 18. As soon as you turn 16, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let you rock this every time. Right? Yeah, yeah, this will be yours. So, let me oh, tell you, okay. you know, it's a little dusty. Yeah. Right. And then when you get 18, you get the house. You oh, get the mansion. Okay. And from the video, y'all can clearly see Justin was very confused and even more nervous as to why this grown man, who he barely even knows, is willing to throw millions at him for no apparent reason. After his stay, Justin stopped hanging out with Diddy, but they later met up in the studio. And Justin looked really scared after Diddy asked him why he stopped hanging out with him. Poor little boy was stuttering and shaking the entire time. You ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't, I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know, partners and whatnot, mm-hmm. but 
you, you never really got my number, so. Right, okay. Yeah, 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 Check this out. But as I said before, them rumors of Diddy being DL have actually been around for quite some time. 50 Cent was one of the first people to reveal this when he said Diddy offered to take him on an all expense paid shopping spree. The pop was like, yeah, like first he was amping him to, to right. get style. Then he was like, yo, he's like, yo, so yo, when we gonna get the chance to, you know, to kick it, like we could just hang out. We gotta, we gotta kick it. This is Puff. Okay. You're telling me we gotta kick it and shit. He was like, right. yo, why don't we like go shopping or some shit? I mean, like I pay for it. And I was like, what the f this nigga just say? <laughs> <laughs> And then there was a time that Jaguar Wright revealed that a lawyer who used to work for Diddy told her that she walked in on Christopher Williams giving Diddy a BJ in his office. Jaguar said Diddy knew Christopher was straight, but he still forced Christopher to go down on him in exchange for a record deal. Christopher Williams, I don't know, I guess he wanted to sign. I don't know what happened, but Puff was supposed to be giving him a demo deal and he gave him a demo deal and I guess it was supposed to turn into an album deal, which that never happened. Um, but this young woman walked in to get approval on some paperwork, see. And uh, when she walked in, the door wasn't locked, so she didn't think twice about just walking in. And when she walked in, she saw uh, Christopher Williams performing fellatio on Puff. Now, from what she said to me, um, it was disturbing because, you know, they didn't stop. She just walked out and she just kept her head down at the office the rest of the day, I believe it was. And I don't think it was at the end of business day that day, but I think it was the following day. He came into her office and was like, yeah, so you came in there. So what? What you want to do? You want to say something? And she was like, oh, no, I, you know, I just... She was like, I just don't understand why you left the door unlocked. If you were in there doing that, why would you leave the door unlocked? He said, I'll do whatever the f I want to do in my building. And she was, I just don't know. He was like, it's power, see? I can make a man. He said, if I can make a man suck my dick, I can make people do anything. So as y'all can see, these DL and allegations have been around for a long time and I honestly wouldn't be surprised if his male victims also started showing up with their own lawsuits and tell-all books maybe even some interviews to expose his raging obsession with BBCs and how he young boys. Now y'all know, as always, people had a whole lot to say about this and they ran to social media to make their thoughts known. One person said, Usher's smile can hide a lot of pain. Justin Bieber sadly looks broken at times. Diddy crossed the line and sacrificed the childhoods of both of them. Another person said, you know something? I do not blame Usher or Justin Bieber. They were literally kids. I blame their parents. Their childhoods were literally snatched from them their innocence. Well, I've said this before, the elites are tired of him, so they all ready to get rid of him now. But now I want to know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Diddy allegedly Usher and Justin? And do y'all think Diddy is really responsible for Usher having an STD? Y'all know what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.